side with the club. Shane Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Clock has dropped and we are back underway. Up along the wing. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's broken up. And that pass doesn't go. The Canadians have it from their own end. Here they come on the attack as they slide the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's turned aside. Here's a shot. That's a good consecutive save. Goalie coaches are always working on following and tracking the puck. He stops one. Now you got to stop the second. Cousins wins possession in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Corona. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. To his teammate. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Montreal's in on the offensive attack now. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. The Sabres move to the offensive zone. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Kanopka. There's a hit and he's trying to leave everything out there on the ice tonight. Taken by Malkin. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Grabs it and rips it! Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Buffalo's looking to break out. Montreal's got it in the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Barlow. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Volchenkov. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Can't make it work. Here's a shot. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. And it's a quick pass to Barlow. Dantzu's got the puck along the wing. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. Quick pass to Prince. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Sends it quickly to Datsuk. Moves the puck. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Montreal's on the attack. And he was ready for that one. Buffalo's got the puck. Wants to pass it to Kachuk. In the books, let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Turnover machine in this scoreless game. Oh, and a 
misfires. That goes right out of the zone. Caulfield's got the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. Buffalo's moving it along the wing. Davidson's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Montreal's got it against the boards. Here they come on the attack. Denies them on the play. And that puck leaves the zone. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Bourgeois. And he gets it from that. Let's see what the officials are calling. Power's going off for interference. unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, hard work earns the first power play of the game for them, and now they've got to take advantage of it. They'll start with the face-off, of course, in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Well, he's dropped always thinking shot here, and even after he stumbles and falls, he's able to direct that puck towards the net. Really good play with some strength and some focus. Dadzuk's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Montreal's got it near the point. Takes the pass from the boards. Looks to set up along the point. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And look at this, they've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Offense is own face-off and he wins the draw. Now you got a chance to make something against a tired team. Moves it to Ryan. Here's the chance to set up now. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Montreal's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Hammers it. Denies him. He got all of it. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still no score in this one. The Sabres win the draw. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Here we go, puck's in deep. Montreal's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. The Sabres win it in the defensive zone. Powers up at the box. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Ryan's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating, but as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. Streaking through center to go on the attack. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Poked away yet 
Center by Malkin. Here's the pass in front. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Quick shot. look to start the transition game. Moves it to the offensive zone. Quick feed to Fiala. Oh, to Nyson with the title save. Taken along the wall by Verro. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. And he slides it quickly to Burroughs. Takes a shot, and he makes the save. He's got it behind the cage. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Made the save on the play. Nice move by the goalie to get close to the shooter. Here's a shot. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Register now for our shoot to win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. Puck is dropped. We are underway. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Ryan. Oh, devastating hit. I'm telling you, James, sometimes you think you've got more room and you have none. He ran out of trap right there. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Caulfield. He says, let's get physical on that play. Uses the force on that hit. And not much on that one. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Passes over to Fiala. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Quick pass to Caulfield. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Scores! And look who's right on the doorstep, and he didn't miss that one. Man, that's like a practice drill. They executed that odd man rush perfectly. They expose the defender and then deliver the puck into the net. Montreal's been pushing all night long offensively. They finally get the big goal to put them up here in the third. They've had the puck the whole time, it seems like. Chance after chance. There was a danger here they were going to get frustrated, but now they have the lead. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck. Works it across to Kachuk. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Pass broken up. The Sabres take it along the wall. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Takes a shot. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. More than half the period left to play. The Canadians lead it 1-0. Buffalo's got it in the defensive zone. Volchenkov's got control of it now behind the cage. Puck picked up by Malkin. Moves it to the middle. It's gone! What a tough break for the goaltender. This thing's just shoveled towards the net somehow. And as it's bouncing around, the goalie can't track it, can't keep his body in front of it. Now he's got to fish it out from behind him. 
Montreal's insurance marker has really widened the gap here in the back half of the third. And now it turns into a little bit of a free-for-all. They're comfortable with their two-goal lead, but the other guys, you know they're going to be pressing the play, trying to get back in. Poked away in the defensive end. Cousins carries the puck in his own zone. Volchenkov's got it now deep inside his own end. Montreal's got the puck here in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Cousins. Good hit on the play. Buffalo's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Kanopka's got it in the corner. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. Handles the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And he had the answer on that play. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Couldn't complete the play. Buffalo's gained possession along the boards. He got all of that hit. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Bourgeois got it into offensive territory. Buffalo's got control of it now from their own end. Puck picked up in the open ice. Taken by Hamilton. Moves it quickly over to Vermeestrov. Shot! And he was ready for that save! From one end of the blue line to the other. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Tries to feed it over to Datsu. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Montreal's got possession at center. Scooped up along the wall by Hamilton. Back to the blue line. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Oh, and a smart heads up play. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. And that slides right out to center ice. Hamilton's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Hammers the shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Look at the smiles on the ice here in these dying seconds. They know they're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. What a stop as he puts up the fire! There's the horn, and they're moving on. It's a mixture of exhaustion and jubilation, but they are going on to play for the Stanley Cup. What an amazing achievement to get through three rounds of the playoffs. Yet the work is not done. Enjoy it for a couple of days. You're still four wins away from the Stanley Cup. Ray's seen a lot of pats on the back to go along with the handshakes here. They seem empathetic. Well, there's not really anything profound to say other than good series, good work. But the winning team understands what the other side's like, too. There is your Prince of Wales trophy winners. Not the one they want, Ray. There's a bigger goal in mind. What a great achievement, and that trophy signifies that. But you're right, James. It's four more wins away that they're already starting to think about. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.
Positioning to deflect the puck, and then look how hard it is to track. The goalie's got all kinds of people all over the place trying to find the puck. Can't do it this time. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Takes it at center. So quickly on the board. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. on here now up by three. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Takes the puck. And the puck's booted away. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Here he is. Takes the shot. He was left in there. Gains the zone along the right wall. Up. And he puts that one aside with ease. Great reflexes, another save. Bourgeois moving the puck through his own zone. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a shot. He scores! Oh, what a finish! It sends the water bottle flying. A goal is a goal, but when the bottle pops, you go back to the bench feeling pretty good about yourself. It's popping bottles tonight. Oh, 
this puck beats them cleanly. We were talking to the coaches before the game. They mentioned they wanted to get as much traffic as possible in front of the goaltender, make it difficult for him to find the puck. More than half the frame has been played here. Montreal's now up by four. Delandria's gained possession inside the neutral zone. There's a collision with some authority. Poked away in the neutral zone by Delandria. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Turn that chance aside. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Here's a shot. That goes off the mask. Well, whatever you got to do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Unloads one. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Great save on the play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Montreal's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4 0. Delandrius gained possession, and his great work inside the faceoff circle pays off again. Montreal's got control of the puck, grabs it in his own end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Here's a chance. Just listen for the next 10 seconds. Man, they are all over the home club here. It's been a rotten night, and they're not going to be shy anymore about letting the players know what they think. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Jaeger. Here's the shot. Stop by the goaltender. And from out of nowhere, here's the nine seconds. They get one before the period ends. The team start to look at that clock winding down, and you just want to get to the end of the period. This is like a lightning bolt into the middle of this game. minutes we'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath stick around are you a super fan here's your chance to prove it if you have the best decorated car or home you could win ranked side tickets to an upcoming game Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Canadians' control of the game in the first period was really something to watch. I mean, it was like they were in a practice. They had the puck all the time. They got it to the middle of the ice, and they scored a bunch. I mean, what a great opening 20. They'll try to do that again here in period two. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Anaheim's gonna need a lot more of that offense to get back into this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. McTavish has got it along the wing. Made the stop on the play. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Well saved by the goalie. And here we go. of that spirited boat. Uh, I don't like when the guys start throwing them like that. Somebody looks like they're going to get hurt every time. 
but I don't know that the home guy did very well there. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice, and let's get this puck dropped once again. Grabs the puck. McTavish is picking up steam. The Ducks take it along the wall. And that pass doesn't go. Redirected off a stick. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Montreal's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Uh, they stayed right on it. Once they stopped that first one, they just pushed the pace of it. Now they get another. The Ducks still have a big mountain to climb here in the second. Yeah, but they show a little life, I guess, James. I mean, things have gone so poorly for them. But that goal has to give him a little energy. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Can't find his man. Puts it on there. Puts that one high. Yeah, man, did he ever airmail that over the top of the net? He's trying to go right under the bar. Sometimes the puck sits funny when you shoot it, and you almost lose control of it. Anaheim's through center right now in the offensive end. Angles it over to McAvoy. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Jaeger's lugging the puck. Across the line along the left wall. Now a quick pass to Stillman. They score! What's something? It is, and now you can build on it. I mean, prior to that, James, what were they going to build on? Nothing. They were out of the game. Anaheim still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now bit better and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Costi's won the draw. Dumps it in. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Manages to hang on. Anaheim's got it now. Denies him in close. Slides the puck up from the left side. Drives to the sweet spot. And he's peeling off to regroup. Quick feed! Quick shot! Misses! Uh, yep. Get it on the net. Pass back to the point. Here's a chance behind the net. At point blank and missed! When he goes back to the bench, maybe he peeks at that on the tablet. He's not going to like this. Right in the middle of the ice. You can't get a better chance than that. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. A little back and forth. Costi's got it in the defensive zone. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it diagonally to Prince. Big time stop. Find some space in the corner. Takes the feed at the point. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. From the opposite point. Oh, what a hit. Ray, you can hear that from here. How about you? Yeah, oh, yeah. That'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Hey fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendars. You can pick them up at Kiosk 144 on the lower level. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Ducks are still in this game, and really, it's kind of a miracle, James. I mean, they don't have many shots on goal, not many chances. That's going to have to change in the third period. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. That stoppage came just at the right time for them. They look like they're starting to slow down, not being able to keep up to the offensive team. Montreal's won the draw. And that banks off a stick. Montreal's working the puck near the point. 
still has possession. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Quick feed to Perot. And he makes the save. Handles the pass from his goalie. Steps across the blue line. Picks up the puck. And he makes the save. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Hammers it on net. Not even close. Not close to anything. The net's been the same size for a hundred years. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Sauvé. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, what a gamble! Here's a short pass to Jaeger. Down the right side and into the zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. This is point night. Everybody, it seems, is on the board with either a goal or an assist. And since it's not over, even if you don't have one, you've got a chance still. This game is going to have goals right until the final horn. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Past the midway mark of the frame, Montreal's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Jaeger's won the faceoff. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Handles it along the blue line. It's a drive from the point! Takes control of the puck. Anaheim's got the puck. Quick pass to Prince. Picked off by Stillman. Montreal's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Hammers one at the net. Turned aside with the glove. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Couldn't connect on that pass. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Rips it from the blue line. Back to the point it goes. Moves it quickly over to Costi. Here they come on the rush. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes the feed from the left side. Takes it to the net. Denies it in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Can't make it work. Montreal's crossed the line and on the attack. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Slides that one right across the blue line. And a great scene. Montreal's at the back end. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Sergachev's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. Scores! That's two times, two times! Now he's having one of those nights, James. The puck just falls one of around. You get a chance to score. You don't miss on nights like this. Playing like this isn't for the faint of heart. If you're going to lower your shoulder, you're going to get creamed once in a while. He doesn't seem to care as he drives it to the net and puts it in behind the goalie. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The Canadians get a hold of the puck off the draw. Tries to get it over to Ekblad. Driving right to the front. Makes it look easy with the stop. They gain the zone from the left side. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Have you met Lord Stanley? Well, you're about to hear as they are about to win the most coveted prize in hockey. And there's the final horn. Ray, you played it close to 20 years. You've covered this game for years. What are you seeing down there? I'm seeing guys that can't believe they finally won. Guys that have been at it a long time. Guys that have been at it just a few years. But they are together Stanley Cup champions.
trophy to win in sports has arrived. Now yeah, the Stanley Cup is here. Now we'll see who gets to hoist it over their head first. Oh, Captain, my Captain, here comes Cap to collect the cup. And for the very first time, you can only imagine the emotion coursing through him. He'll have the cup, just like in his dreams. Your Conn Smythe Trophy winner. Now his time to hoist the cup. It's always got to be an amazing thing. You go and get the Conn Smythe first, and it's by yourself. Now you're part of your group. This is what you play for. Just an amazing tournament for him. And look who's hoisting a Stanley Cup again. Ray, this is starting to become routine. Well... It is, but here's the thing is like you don't just get to show up and win the cup. You've got to be good enough to be on the best teams year after year. He has been, and here he wins again. Well, here was a key contributor tied for most goals on the team en route to a Stanley Cup win, Ray. Well, I was just most impressed with how he played game to game. And then at some point in the playoffs, I'm like, he's scoring all the time. A key contributor offensively and a Stanley Cup champion now. The team picture, this is something that 99 started, did he not? Yeah, I believe it was his last year in Edmonton where they won, called everybody together. What an unreal photo to have.